Hello and welcome to this Minecraft build showcase. Today I'll be showing off the church which I actually mentioned in my previous video. And as you can see is right behind me here. Firstly to enter the build you'll just go along this path, past the red roof in, and you will reach the church here. But firstly you will go along this side path alongside it and reach this little pond here. So this has kind of been done to give the place a little bit of life, spruce it up a bit. It has a little seating area here as well, so you can just chillax by the pond. Plenty of vegetation around the pod, uh, pond as well. So continuing on the side path, you go along the church and into the side entrance here. And there's nothing much of note in this room really, it's just like a little entrance room. And now you're in the main room of the church. Now we're in the main room, and you can see it is very vertical, lots of space up there. It's mainly comprised of these benches just to watch the service. And if you continue along the room here, you'll get to the area where the speaker will stand and read off stuff. You also have a nice seat here, fancy seat, on this bench to do a little bit of work from as well. So you also have your curtains in this room. So you have one with a table there, and around the side you have barrel storage here. And this is done because there is a tower going up through here, which you can see on this main wall here. Um, but it does provide the benefit that it does split up the room a bit, makes it less boxy, so it is quite nice. Moving through to enchanting room here, this is where we do all the enchanting on the server. So you have your enchanting table, bookshelves, disenchantner, everything you'll need. There's also leaves here, just add a little bit of colour to the room as well. Moving through this door, you come out to the path here, and this does lead to the graveyard around the back side of the church. And as you can see, the path is a lot more dirty and unstructured. That's just to show how we're off-road now. The walls around the graveyard are very mossy and decayed, and that's just to show the history of the graveyard on the server, and to show that it's very old. It's kind of just a circular loop around this main focal point, the fountain here. So if you go around the path, you see many stuff like these bridges, um, chairs as well, and tombstones as well of famous people I've been on the server. You also have your Crypt Keeper house here. Very small though, only has the bare necessities, so a bed, crafting table, a bit of storage as well. Very limited though. The graveyard is also right next to the cliff, which is kind of just the border of my base. It makes the graveyard feel a bit more confined, which is quite nice actually. Coming back along the path, you'll see this rock here, and I love to just place these down along in the world, just to add a little bit of variance uh, among the grass, adding a little bit of grey to it as well. Now we'll finally reach a tower, which I mentioned before earlier. Coming through the door, you'll see it's a spiral staircase. I've had many people on the server complain about it, <laughs> but it's fine really. Um, we're reaching the top now. It has a great view, and this is really the main reason why I built the church. I wanted some verticality, just for a nice view like this. Obviously the area is not finished, but it is a canny view already, and it's only bound to get better. If you go down from the spiral staircase, you go down to the basement of the church. It isn't massively visual in nature, it's more practical. This is where I do all my villager trading. It's very useful though, this is where I get my food mostly. Now going back along this dirt path here, and you take this exit here, you'll come to this bridge. Uh, this is the next build I'll probably be showing off in my next video. This is the blacksmith. I'm not finished with it yet though, but it's nice to just have all these areas linked together. Coming to the side of the blacksmith here, it does offer a great side profile view of the church. So you can see the top of the tower you have here slanted up wooden roof. And I haven't pointed it out before, but it also you can also see the stained glass windows of the church. That just adds a lot of colour to a very grey build. The main walls of the church are also composed of stone anisite, cobblestone and also stone bricks. Finally also, you can see this hay bale cart there actually. Uh, me and some people actually bale it just so we can jump off the church and onto it to be safe. Never really works out well though, it's just a little fun activity that we do have anyway. Coming to the top of the church, you'll see there's plenty of iron bars and end rods as well. They do provide lightly end rods. But these bars are mainly just to push the medieval feel of the church. 
really does harken back to that. Here's a good view of the front of the church. You can see the great big stained glass windows at the front there, much bigger than the other ones around the side. That pretty much wraps up this video. Thank you very much for watching the tour of the church. Like I said before, the next video might be on the blacksmith, which is currently in production. Um, it should be finished not too long though, so you can look forward to that. Of course, any critique or any comments will be greatly appreciated. Thank you very much, and goodbye.